Hey Bleepin' Jeepers, it's Tyler coming to you from the new shop. It's not quite set up yet, but it's getting close. Now, in setting up a shop, probably the single biggest expenditure is getting your tools. Um, over the years, I've purchased a lot of tools, but like anybody else, I'm on a budget. And some of those tools I've purchased were really cheap ones. Specifically, I'm going to talk today about some Harbor Freight tools. I'm going to go over five that I've purchased and used now for years that have actually turned out to be pretty decent tools. Before we get into those, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't already, subscribe. Let me show you what I got. The first one let's go over is this vise. I purchased this vise from Harbor Freight 19 years ago. So it's going on 20 years. Um, as you can see, I've beat the crap out of it. I've used it extensively, and it's actually turned out to be a pretty good vise. Um, I can't remember what I paid for it. I think I paid around 60 bucks for it, 50 or 60 bucks. Now contract, contrast that with this Wilton. If you can ever get your hands on one of these, these are excellent vices. But even use their two, three hundred bucks sometimes. If you can, if you can find one somewhere for under a hundred bucks, snatch it up. These are excellent vices. But if you don't have two or three hundred bucks to throw at a vice. This one's been a pretty good investment for, like I said, I think I paid around 60 bucks for it 20 years ago. Um, the ones they've got in Harbor Freight now are just a slightly different than this, and I think they're around 70 bucks, but I still think they're a worthwhile investment. This has turned out to definitely be worth the money. If you're going to be doing any fabrication on your Jeep at all, you're going to need some angle grinders. Now there's three different types here, actually. I got on a DeWalt as well. So I've got a DeWalt, a Makita, and then these two Harbor Freight ones. Now Harbor Freight has some different um, quality levels. They've got a heavy, some heavy duty grinders and some really low end ones. Um, this is one of the really low end ones. These are, you know, 15, 17 bucks. We haven't had super great luck with these. Uh, I've worn out a couple of these. But, you know what, for, for 15 bucks you can afford to buy three of them and put two of them on the shelf. And when one craps out, you just grab another one. I mean, they, they literally cost about what two or three of these good flapper wheels cost. So, if you're really on a budget, one of these will get you by. Um, but just understand, it's not going to last forever. But they will do the job. I've never overheated one and burned it out. What we end up usually breaking is either the, the lock to be able to get the wheels off or the cord will go bad and, and we've taken them apart and fixed the cord. Now these, this is a kind of Harbor Freight's next level up and these are about 40 bucks. I think they're blue now but you can see this one has literally had years of use. This is probably 10 or 12, maybe 15 years old, and I have beat the crap out of this. As Ave likes to say, I've given this thing a hot supper a lot, um, and it just keeps on ticking. And we've purchased probably four or five of these over the years, and because they're so cheap, you can do that. And then uh, you can see here, I got one set up as a cutter, one set up as a brush for prepping for welds. I got one with a with a sanding flapper wheel on it and then one with a carborundum grinding wheel on it. And that way you're not always sw you know swapping between you're not having to take the discs off all the time when you're in the middle of a project you can just grab one do what you need grab the other do it the other do what you need. Uh, because these are so cheap 
you know, buy three or four of them and set them up like that. Now, I will tell you, so I picked up this Makita at a yard sale, and I think I paid 20 bucks for it. Um, this thing, when you run it, it's, you can tell a difference. It's much more balanced. It doesn't vibrate in your hand. It's less fatiguing. You can feel there's a quality difference. But if you're to go buy this new, I think these are 80 or 90 bucks, or maybe more. So you can tell the difference when you're using these, but the fact of the matter is, I beat the crap out of this, and it just keeps coming back for more. So if you're willing to, you know, put up with a little bit more vibration, a little bit more fatigue when you're holding on to it, this will get you by for a long time. This has definitely been worth the money. One of the tools that Harbor Freight definitely got right are their floor jacks and their jack stands. I guess those, that's two different tools, but hey, you get a bonus. Um, these six-ton jack stands are excellent. I wouldn't bother with the three-ton ones unless all you're working on are little cars. They just don't go high enough. They're, they're, they're built well enough and they're strong enough. They just they don't lift high enough. So these six tons, they'll go on sale sometimes for right around 30 bucks. Um, and they are an excellent purchase. I think we probably have maybe eight sets of them and we've used all of them. <laughs> They've been really good. These floor jacks are excellent um, and they make several different versions. These will go on sale. They'll be around 70, 75 bucks. I have used the heck out of this. This is the, uh, I think this is an eight ton and that one's a, maybe a three ton. Can't tell the stickers all worn off. But I use these all the time and they've been really good, definitely worth the money. Tool number four, impact sockets. Now these are uh, my half inch deeps, I've got standard and metric and then I've also got some half inch shorts up here as well as some 3 8 drive here. These, you can see the wear on these. You just can't kill these sockets, I've never broken one. Um, and I've cranked on them with breaker bars, I pound on them with, uh, I've got a, a really good impact wrench and I beat the snot out of these. Uh, these were one of the very first socket sets that I purchased over 20 years ago and they have definitely been worth the money. I, you, you just can't kill them and you can't beat them for the price. Definitely invest in a set of these. Tool number five, guys, is my Harbor Freight 20 ton shop press. For the money, this is an absolute steal. If you price these hydraulic presses, they're astronomical. And you can pick this thing up for well under 200 bucks. I think when these go on sale, they're around 150 bucks. There are some things you can do to improve them, um, just to make them a little faster and a little bit more user friendly. But right out of the box, they will do the job. And for the money, this is an ex you cannot beat these for the money. Maybe we'll do a video on some of the things you can do to, to improve these a little bit, make them a little more user friendly. But uh, guys, definitely worth the money. I love this press. The days of pounding the crap out of U joints and, and bearings trying to do differentials, those days are over. This thing, this is a good investment. Hey, here's a bonus, because who doesn't love a bonus? Tool number six, my uh, Harbor Freight engine hoist. Again, these are, uh, when they go on sale, you can get them for less than 200 bucks. This thing has turned out to be a godsend, and we use it for all kinds of things, not just for lifting motors. I use it a lot for lifting axles. I've used it to work on my, you see my four-wheeler back here? I've used it to work on all kinds of different things and they are really inexpensive. So, as a bonus, if you're looking for an engine hoist, these are worth the money. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video can save you some money. You can click on one of these videos in the corners to watch some more great content. We have over a thousand videos, uh, all related to Jeeps, fabrication, off-roading, uh, really a lot of how-to videos. Check out the rest of the channel and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.